fake Apple stores in China, clones in Japan, and a very important public service announcement about time travel. It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. Welcome to Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. I'm Ashley Esqueda, your host, and joining me as always is a delightful Barb Dibwad. Hi, Barb. I am here. I am ready to talk about some crazy tech news this week. Yeah, and apparently you are also what a really cool grandpa looks like, according to your shirt. Well, I thought America should know. So it's not uncommon to find knockoffs of different technology items and electronics, but uh, this particular knockoff really takes the fake cake. In China, in a city called Kunming, there are five fake entire Apple stores. The crazy thing is, now that officials are actually starting to look into this, they're finding that the employees in these stores actually believe that they're working for the real Apple. They're also actually selling real Apple products. Well, so, allegedly. Allegedly. One of the things about this story that's interesting is officials have actually shut down two of the five stores, but not because of copyright infringement, because their business licenses were expired. I'm sure they got a little strong arming from Apple itself. All I'm saying is that if fake Steve Jobs announces the fake iPhone 5, I would probably buy it. So while China is busy cloning Apple stores, Japan is busy cloning you. There's a company called the Clone Factory that will literally turn your likeness into a mini figurine and print it out in 3D. This is yeah. awesome. They take basically tons of SLR pictures of you from every possible angle, and then they put those pictures into a 3D printer, which then prints out your head in a very- A little mini head very scary lifelike detail. But uh, unfortunately, if you're ready to get one right now and you're really gung-ho, you're gonna have to get out your checkbook because the process alone costs a little over $1,700 and that's not counting a trip to Tokyo. Would you live in a house less than five feet wide at its thickest point? Sure. This is in Warsaw, Poland, and it's an architecture company called Centrala and they're making the world's thinnest house. It's actually being built in between two existing buildings in an alleyway. And at its thickest is only 52.4 inches wide. And one of the other super cool things about this house is the way that you get into it, which is via a remote controlled staircase that lowers Whoa. from the bottom of the house, which was obviously modeled after alien spacecraft. Exactly. And I'm just curious, would you live in a house like this? Would it be creative for you or would it be claustrophobic? So home ownership is a dream for many of us, but cheap home ownership is an even cooler dream. And a man in Texas has gotten a $330,000 house for the low, low price of $16. He found not only this law called the adverse possession law, but the perfect use case to try it out on. And he ended up taking possession of the house literally for only the cost of filing some paperwork in the local court. So here's how the law works. The people who originally lived in the home were foreclosed upon, very sad. Then the mortgage company who then owned the debt for that house went out of business. Oh. The guy then moved into the house and since no eviction papers were filed by that mortgage company because they were out of business, he was then able to file paperwork using adverse possession. People, this has got to go down in history as one of the best loopholes ever. In what could be filed under the worst news ever, scientists have proven that time travel is impossible. No! Oh, sorry, Barb. No, my hoverboard! We still fly in cars, but Time travel is Invisibility a no. cloak. No. I will Nothing. never. Inconsolable does not even begin to describe how we at Tekka feel about this. So light can be understood as traveling both in a wave form and as single particles called photons. And these researchers were looking to see whether there might still be a window open where single photons might be able to travel faster than the speed of light. But unfortunately, they rained on everyone's parade. Teleportation is the only thing left. Don't forget wormholes. We can still hope for wormholes. A girl can dream. 
Well, everybody, even though we will not be time traveling into the future, that is all the time we have left for Tech Life on Tekka TV this week. Be sure to tune in to Tekka.com for all of our content. We got news, reviews, all kinds of great stuff there. On behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Esketha. I'm Barb Dubois. And that's been Tech Life. We'll see you next week. Thank you.